What's up guys? Oddman105 here. Welcome back to the channel and to this week's podium car customization and review video. And just like the previous weeks, check it out. Here's this week's podium car, the Vapid Flash GT. Now, if any of you out there want to know how I win podium cars every week, I'll post a link in the description down below for my video and I'll also post a link for my video right about here. Now, if you are new to my channel, then thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your support, and also consider subscribing while you're here. It helps me out a great deal, and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for future notifications, leave a like or two, and hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Okay, I got a couple of huge shoutouts to give. First and foremost, to Archangel99, and second, to Fernando Avilar. For their support of my channel, thank both of you very much. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's begin. Okay, so the Flash GT here is based on two cars, actually, two of my favorite cars. One being the Ford Fiesta RS, and the second being the Ford Focused RS. Two purpose-built rally cars. Now, with that being said, this is a purpose-built rally car. So I think what we should do for this build is uh, keep it that way. Let's uh, put a loud-ass livery on it, some ridiculous colors, and uh, you know what? We'll take it for a test drive and kick the tires. All right, let's jump in this thing, go to the customization stall, and get started. Okay, here we go. And it's in the sports class. Nice. All right, armor, 100%. Brakes, race brakes. Engine, full tune. Exhaust system. Interesting exhaust choices, but we'll leave the exhaust standard. I like the dual tip exhaust the way it is. Front bumper. Let's go outlandish on this. I want the secondary on the front splitter, so let's do that with the canards. The hood. I like the stock hood with the vent, but the race hood I think looks even better, so let's put that on. Horn will leave standard. Lights, headlights, let's go Xenon. Neon kit, layouts, let's go sides. Color, let's see. Let's go lime green on this. Livery, let's put a loud ass livery on this thing. And what I want is right here, junk. Let's put this one on. Now see, that looks pretty nice with the yellow, but I want to do something other than yellow for the paint. So let's go... Okay, we've got that. Plates, you guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. Respray, primary. Let's go metallic. Okay, for the base color, let's, uh, let's go black, because I want to bring out that livery. Let's go black. And then see, so you can see the entire livery there. That looks nice. But. For the Pearl Lessons. Let's go red. And you guys will see why in just a minute. Secondary. Metallic, and we're going red for the secondary. Okay, let's go Torino red for the secondary. Since that'll brighten it up a little bit. Trim color. Okay, let's go red on the trim. And that's going to be seats and roll cage. The roof. Actually, that's not bad. Let's go secondary painted scoop on this one. I like that. I'll do that. Let's do that. Sun strip. Yes, please. But since this is vapid, let's go vapid racing on it. Skirts. I want the most outlandish secondary skirts I can get, and I think these are it. Let's put those on. Spoiler. I'm going to leave the spoiler stock, and that's because 
I mean, that's not bad, but I like the liveried spoiler the way it is. So let's go, uh, let's keep the spoiler stock on this one. Suspension, let's slam it. It's still kind of high up after that, but transmission, full upgrade. Turbo, full upgrade. Wheels, wheel type. Let's go sport. Now, I like the stock wheels that are with the car, but I want a different color. So for that, we need to go sport. And let's see, Synthes Z. These are the wheels here. Let's get those. Really ex inexpensive, too. And we're going to paint those red. You guys see where we're going with this. Tires. Tire design. Yes, please. Enhancements. Bulletproof. Tire smoke. Let's go black tire smoke. And windows, and you know we got to darken them out. That's what I want to do right there. All right, and I think that's it. Yep, that's all the options. Okay, so when the sun comes up, we'll test drive it. But for now, let's go ahead and park this thing. It's a whole new car. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys, and we're back. And, God, it rains so much in this game. Let's check it out. Not bad. You guys see that pearlescent peering through that matches the, the red on the rims and the red on the secondary? Beautiful. That was a good choice. All right. Let's send it. Wow, this thing is fast. Decently fast. Wow. Ooh, getting away. I love it. I like that. That's nice. A little difficult to control. It understeers a bit. Still a fun car to drive. This thing is fast. So now, this car does have poor handling flags on it, so it makes it a little difficult to control, but again, that's what makes this car kind of fun. Brakes. It brakes really well, so it's got a decent top speed on it. It's decently fast. It's got good acceleration. It just handles kind of badly, but then again, this is a fun car to drive. Wow. Let's do some first person. Yeah, this car is nuts. This is fun. Right, guys and we're back and this little car is absolutely nuts this car is fun to drive I love this thing so let's talk about the performance first this is still a competitive car absolutely you can use this thing in races and win no problem at all this car has outstanding acceleration it's got a pretty decent top speed on it and it brakes really well the only problem that I have with this car is the handling handling's pretty poor on it but again that's what makes this a fun vehicle to drive now let's talk about the appearance that choice of the black base with the red pearlescent and the red secondary, this is a good looking car, especially with that loud ass livery on it. I love the way this car turned out. Okay, now let's talk about the price. This car retails for just under $1.7 million on the in-game websites. As with any podium car, win your podium vehicles. Don't buy them, okay? This car is not worth 1.7 mil, but it is worth winning if you can get your hands on it. And use my technique to win your podium vehicle to get your hands on this car. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, coming to you live once again from the Los Santos Car Meet with this week's podium car, the Vapid Flash GT. If you guys found this entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button. 
hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.